Hello there, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Blake Chavis, an enterprise executive here at CBT. And along with me is Lonnie Ludwig, our VP of Solution Development. We're super excited to host this year's Enterprise Wearable Technology Summit. Excellent. To make sure we give the most value out of the time given today, we went ahead and put together an agenda. First, we want to help you guys understand the value of working with and partnering with a domain expert integrator, CBT's approach to IT and OT solution design, and also we're going to dive into some use cases so we can actually see that methodology in action. You know, in uh, uh, this discussion, we're really going to focus on the use cases, but it's good to know where we uh, are coming from, CBT that is. So. Um, hopefully this uh, uh, meets everyone's needs. Uh, thanks, Blake. We'll get going here. Awesome. So what is a domain expert integrator? I'm glad you asked. In a traditional sense, an integrator typically focused on IT solutions. As a domain expert integrator, we take it a step further by bridging the gap between IT and OT. So when you meet an engineer from CBT, not only do they have the experience and information technology, but also operational technology. And in context of what we're talking about today, this is important because it allows us to take that information and then visualize it to drive successful business outcomes. And that's why our partners like PTC, Intel, and HPE continue to work with CBT on their proven track record of success. And we'd like to personally invite you all out to Techsmart uh, Petrochemical Refinery of the Future to witness this live in action. So something that's really unique to CBT is our methodology and our quick start process. Lonnie and his team leads the quick start process. So Lonnie, how about you share with us our approach to quick start? Sure, sure. Thanks, Blake. And, you know, it really is something that we do that's unique. Uh, everyone's familiar with, uh, you know, a pre-sales engagement and, and a pre-sales conversation. Uh, a lot of times uh, things fall through the cracks or, uh, the the solution that's being presented or discussed really doesn't meet the customer's needs. So we really take a design thinking approach and we approach it from uh, uh, that perspective uh, such that we want to make sure we get the proper individuals engaged in the discussion. We want stakeholders from each part of the organization. And then we go through this design thinking uh, uh, exercises to identify the uh, use cases and, and the solution that's really going to drive business value to the organization. Um, we feel this is, is unique. Uh, we've had multiple situations where a customer will come into this process thinking that there is a particular use case that is what is going to drive the most business value for them or is going to meet their needs. And more times than not, at the end of it, we come out with use cases that uh, uh, either are tangential or completely different and that's agreed upon that those use cases are actually the ones that will meet the customer's needs and drive the most business value. All right. So as you can see, this is a really valuable approach. So Lonnie, how about we jump into some unique case studies? Yeah, this is, uh, this is the fun part. This is where I really enjoy it. I've been in uh, IT for 30 years and uh, I love the fact that wearable technology really spans uh, different verticals different uh, industries. And uh, first, I want to talk a little bit about healthcare, uh, specifically dentistry. Uh, we've had multiple uh, solutions we've delivered within healthcare, but uh, one of the most unique is within dentistry. Uh, so I thought it would be interesting to kind of talk through that. Um, using head-mounted compute or wearable compute in dentistry, you know, I, it's easy for people to kind of see the basic use case, right? Uh, you're able to see things that maybe you would have to look away for it. And when I say you, I mean a dentist uh, the, when they're talking to a patient. So say they want to look at an x-ray. Uh, in this situation, in the solution, we're able to push an x-ray image uh, to the, uh, the dentist or the dentist is able to pull up an x-ray image and, and see uh, what he is concerned with with that particular patient. Uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, utilizations uh, the, in this particular project is uh, around remote mentor or the ability to have uh, another dentist 
talking with the dentist that's uh, conversing with the patient uh, uh, from a consultation perspective, say uh, maybe it's an orthodontist or an oral surgeon, and they can see what that dentist is looking at in real time. There doesn't have to be a separate con call. There doesn't have to be a separate uh, meeting to actually get that information across. It's all done in real time. Um, when we were preparing for this project, I actually had a discussion with a relative who's the dentist and talked through uh, the the specific use case and what we were delivering and and i can't even tell you how excited he got with the, the capability of being able to do these type of things um, you know ultimately the roi is to make the dentist more efficient if a, if a dentist can do, have you know, three, four, five more appointments in a day uh, because the appointments can either go more quickly uh, or it takes time uh, back from having to uh, jot down notes or uh, get on a call with uh, another dentist. Um, it, it absolutely increases their ROI. Uh, and jotting down notes, that was another aspect of this, is the ability to transcribe notes verbally. Uh, no more taking notes on a piece of paper, turning away to a, uh, a laptop or a desktop that may be to the side to, to try and type in notes, but to verbally be able to transcribe the notes uh, was a, a huge benefit. So uh, really cool use case, uh, focus on dentistry. As I said, we've had some other uh, healthcare uh, deployments, but uh, that one was pretty cool. One to highlight that. Yeah, I have to admit, Lang, I, I really enjoy working on this opportunity. Uh, definitely something that's really far thinking and super excited to see this, you know, being replicated. Uh, how about we share some other areas where CBT is really showing that domain expertise? I beat you to it. I popped the slide over to utilities. This is one of the areas where we're seeing the most success. Uh, we have several, several utilities customers. In fact, in 2021, uh, we've had uh, uh, double digit uh, uh, new logos in the utility sector. Uh, the one deployment I would like to highlight, which I thought was pretty unique, was within uh, a welding group. Um, the, the benefit here was the ability of a welding inspector to be on site while a weld was uh, occurring, taking place, and be able to have access to standards. Standards change uh, all the time within the welding industry. Uh, literally, their, their database of standards is updated weekly. And so being, ha being able to have access through wearable compute, uh, head-mounted compute, to the latest welding standards in real time while weld's happening uh, and is being inspected is invaluable. Uh, then also the same thing uh, as in dentistry. Uh, and what I mentioned earlier, the, the solutions really do kind of lay across verticals is the ability to transcribe or voice inner data uh, as it's happening. There are compliance forms that are required to be filled out uh, when a weld happens and has the type of material used, the heat of the weld, the experience of the welder. There's many aspects to that. Uh, before this, what would happen is the inspector would have to write the notes down on a piece of paper, go back to the truck. If they had time, pop up the form, enter that into the form. Standard little Excel spreadsheet. Uh, if they didn't have time, then they had to save those notes. And then that night at home, they're tired, they had to enter those notes into that spreadsheet. In real time, while they're watching the weld, uh, they can do this now verbally. They can open up that spreadsheet. They can enter that information and it's stored in SharePoint. Uh, so fantastic uh, uh, increase in efficiency for that, uh, that welding inspector. And same thing is with dentistry. The ability to have remote observation, remote mentor, another inspector, uh, say if it's certification time, another inspector can actually uh, uh, be pulled in to see what that inspector is seeing uh, during the welding process. So absolutely uh, a valuable tool and uh, uh, the ROI is tremendous, making not only the, the uh, uh, welding inspector more efficient, but also not getting fines because the information that's being put in is accurate. Uh, many times if that information is not put in accurately and it's discovered, it can result in a fine by the, the state and even from a federal uh, agency that uh, um, can reach into potentially the millions of dollars. So uh, a great use case and, and a really uh, cool solution. 
Another um, area that we'd like to highlight that we've had some success uh, and delivered uh, several solutions is within manufacturing. Now, manufacturing is a, a big space, and, and the particular solution I'm going to talk about uh, uh, actually is in uh, more uh, um, uh, small form factor manufacturing uh, versus, say, discrete manufacturing or, or uh, uh, say, uh, 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 large asset manufacturing. In this particular situation, it was really around uh, the ability to uh, perform maintenance on assets in the manufacturing environment. Um, being able to look at a asset, a, uh, a five-axis milling machine, for instance, in this situation, and uh, be able to uh, know the, the uh, information about that asset real time be able to pull that information up through scanning, say, uh, uh, a QR code, which is what we did. And uh, so when you scan that QR code, it brings up that dashboard, and you can see uh, the temperature of, of uh, the cooling liquid within the, the machine, the last time the drill bit was changed, uh, all the different attributes to that, that asset. Um, really a cool application and, and a different type of visualization. Uh, so you're not just looking at, say, a document or a spreadsheet, but you're actually pulling a dashboard up that is live and pr pushing live data into uh, the uh, the uh, um, maintenance worker or the, the field service worker. Uh, tremendously valuable tool uh, so many times, especially uh, folks that have been in the environment for a long time, some of that information is taken for granted uh, and that institutional or that, uh, that knowledge that uh, um, veterans within the environment uh, have. Uh, now we're capturing that data and we're being able to present it so someone who's newer on the job has real-time access to, to data that uh, someone else may have taken for granted uh, because of their experience. Uh, so, uh, once again, efficiency, driving an ROI around a uh, quicker time to repair so an asset's not down uh, for uh, uh, any time or a shorter period of time, or actually uh, uh, being able to uh, create a situation where the asset is intervened on before it fails, uh, which is uh, the ultimate goal. So, uh, And safety. Quite honestly, if you make an asset uh, run better, you create a safer asset and you keep your employees safe. So uh, um, another cool use case, and uh, you know it's uh, it's it's exciting to see how these uh, really transcribe across uh, industries. We're we're working in multiple areas, as I said, currently working on a, a project that's. Uh, uh, underway for 3D visualization within a construction environment. So cool stuff, really, really uh, uh, exciting. And, and CBT, uh, with the breadth and depth of experience we have, we're able to really uh, be agile and build solutions uh, and work with our OEM partners to deliver on the needs of our customers. Money, as you mentioned assets, one thing that really came to my mind is what company a company's greatest greatest asset, which is their people, right? And I think yeah. you know, this technology is not designed to re replace uh, our people, but to enable our people, right? To make them smarter, to give them the technology that they need to make better decisions out in the field. And I think that that's super uh, exciting as we, we live in an ever evolving world to be able to take our human capital and advance it. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Can be more, and that's a common theme in the ROI across all these uh, case studies is, is the efficiency of, of the uh, individuals that are employed in that particular environment, whether it's a, a dental practice, a field maintenance worker, uh, or an inspector, uh, making them better at that job, giving them access to information, uh, uh, both uh, capturing it and uh, being able to uh, visualize it uh, is invaluable. Lonnie, thank you for sharing those great use cases. Could you go a little bit more in depth on what integration actually means? When we look at a particular uh, use case and we kind of get to that point of, of proposing a solution and delivering on a solution, integrations can be completely wide ranging and things that we don't expect. So. Uh, 
uh, give you two examples. We have uh, a, a customer that we're working with, a utility, uh, pretty basic warehousing application. Basically, what they wanted to do is just be able to scan a product. Uh, I hate to use the word product. Assets probably better. Uh, so if you want to, uh, you got to replace a transformer. They pull the transformer mm -hmm. off the shelf. They scan the, the, uh, the code. That goes into a mobile SAP application that has really two main fields. One is inventory in, one is inventory out. And then it basically says this piece of in inventory has been taken out uh, of the warehouse. Uh, for remote locations, uh, what they used in the past were handheld devices where they actually had to carry a holster and do that. Now they could use uh, the headset they can use for other things. Um, so we did that integration by working with a third party uh, that built that app and to understand how they integrate with SAP and then we integrate with that app. So, you know, it's not always as straightforward as, as you might think. And in another situation, uh, we're working with a tool manufacturer, and, and this we're actually building the solution right now. Um, this deal closed a couple months ago, uh, but we're integrating with a third-party um, training management platform based on Unity. So we had to actually come up to speed on Unity, and uh, uh, we actually developed a, a relationship, a partnership with Unity, uh, and uh, did some really quick training, and, and now we're actually integrating uh, into that app uh, based on Unity visualizations. If you're familiar with Unity, Unity is uh, the engine behind uh, like a gaming uh, uh, engine, like a video game. So, and they're really good for 3D visualization. So, uh, you know, integration is uh, in that particular dental use case. The integration is not there. It will be in the future. Uh, we're actually working another dental opportunity with a very large dental provider, kind of the dental office of the future, if you if you will. Uh, and they use Epic. That's why I brought up Epic uh, because that's going to require some integration with Epic. Well, we really appreciate everyone's time. Uh, we'd love to have you guys connect with CBT. You can visit our website at cbtinc.com, or you can also visit us at next week's Enterprise Wearable Technology Summit. Please stop by our virtual booth where you can meet Lonnie, myself, and our great team of engineers. Uh, and we really look forward to seeing you guys there. Absolutely. And, and don't hesitate to go to the booth. Uh, we're gonna, as Blake said, we're going to have uh, several people there and uh, great experience to find out what we've done, what we're doing, and how we can help you.